Hello there and welcome to my computer. Today I'm doing a Fusion 360 video, not electronics video. This is about how to make the icosahedron, the most simple way I have found out to do it, with only one dimension. And why I did this was that I was playing around with the TFI Invusion Cat Challenge 2, trying to do, and it's based around the icosahedron. So, I was playing around with this, I wanted to find an easy way to do it, which my brain understands. So this is the way I'm doing it, and it contains only one dimension, and basically no math. The only math is this. If you want to do a certain height from point to point, what I mean with from point to point, if you want to do a icosahedron with a certain dimension from this point to this point, the side needs to be the height times 0.5 to 6, if you want to make it from surface to surface, that's from flat surface to the mirror flat surface on the other side, you need to make the side equal to hive type 0.662. I will make both of those. I will first do it in uh, solid, and then I'm going to do it in as a surface, and at the last I will try to do the emotion challenge to show that. I will put timestamps down below, and also the math for how to calculate the hive. So, I'm going to start by doing the solid, and I want to do it at a certain hive. I'm going to start with polygon. I'm talking and doing things at the same time, which is not good. Five sides, thank you. And that dimension I don't need right now, because I'm going to crash things. So my aim is to do it 100 meters from point, 100 millimeters from point to point. So the side needs to be 52.6 millimeters. Dimension of the side somewhere out here 52.6. That's the only dimension we're going to use. Now we're going to do construction geometry to make the solid. So we're going to start with the circle. Make sure it is construction from the midpoint to outer point or a vertex of the solid. We're going to do a line from the vertex straight through the middle. This line needs to be this equal to the side as we're going to use that to get the outer center of everything and we do a small line from midpoint to the circle. This is the only thing we need. And I have turned off my sketches, that's better. Now we're going to do a second sketch on the side. I think you're going to see things starting to get together. We're going to do a projection because we need the points. We need the vertex. We need the midpoint. And we're going to need this point. This line here has the same length as the size. We're going to use that now to get to the same thing. To the top, circle, construction. This circle here has the same radius as the side of the equilateral triangles on the outside. So if we do a line from midpoint and up, I'm going to turn off my region. This disturbs me. I'm going to constrain it vertically. This point up here is the top of a vulnerable vertex of our side. That's one word vertex. That is another one. So now we can do a second circle. A circle from midpoint here up to here. This circle is the same as the height of the side. So what we are looking for now is the center of the solid. This is the top side we are doing here. We need to find the center. So the lower part of this solid is going to be this polygon, but mirrored around. So I'm going to do a line from here to the circle. Make sure it's constrained vertically. The point I get down here is the mirror point of this vertex. So this is a vertex perpendicular to this one on the other side. So the center of the solid is going to be the middle of this line. Midpoint. Straight out. And then I'm going to use constraint vertically from mid to Finish sketch. Now we are basically done. We are going to do the physical part. We're going to do a loft command. A great command from this sketch up to the point. OK. This is now outside. As you can see, we have the five equilateral triangles around one vertex. We're going to need the inner makings of this. We're going to do a second loft from 
that profile down to that point. This is the midpoint, and now we have the axles we need to do the circular pattern from the center out to the vertex on the outside. So we're going to do circular pattern. We're uh, going to choose bodies. Good. We're going to choose body seven. I'm going to choose one of the axles. We need it five times, of course. That's all good. Now the problem is we have just spun it around one axle. That means when we turn around the solid, we are missing one part. So we're going to do a mirror. Make sure it says bodies. We're going to start to take the same body as we started with. And we're going to mirror it over itself on one of its sides. This side here towards the missing part. Okay. I'm going to move the sketch for a while. Now we've done it. We're going to do a combine to get everything together. Target body. So we get one solid. Now that's a full solid. And just for checking, if we measure it from point to point, it's 100.051, yeah. It's not perfectly 100, but it's as close as I can get. That it is, and of course, it's a solid, if we look at it. Sorry, I picked one of the size. I want to do a sectional analysis from the plane. And as you can see, is one solid object which you now can play around with. So as that, now let's start with the surface version. So this is the surface version. We're going to start the same way with a sketch. You're going to see all the steps. I know this might be a bit boring. Please move forward five sides. Constrain it vertically. We're going to do a dimension immediately. And my aim is now to do it high surface to surface 100 millimeters. So the side is going to be 66.2 millimeters. 66.2. We are going to do the construction geometry. If you looked how to do the solid, I will not explain too much because it might be boring hearing me saying the same things again. So this is doing me doing it as fast as I can. Projection. Sorry, we're going to create a sketch on that surface. We're going to project the vertex, midpoint, length, midpoint of the side, and mirror. Why do I have some problems sometimes? Circle, construction, line to get the midpoint, circle, we do a line straight down. So far it's the same as the solid, but soon it's going to be a bit different because uh, doing the surface, I will not do the inner part of it. So now we have all the sketches. So, sorry, we need to do something more of these sketches. The problem is, I'm going to, with the surface, I only do the outer parts. I will not get the inner parts. I will not get the axles to play around with. So I need to make them myself. So the first axle we do is from the vertex to the center. Good. Now I have something to spin it around. The problem is, I need something to do the mirror around. So I do a second line from here to a midpoint there. And to help me do the mirror, I need a plane at the angle. I'm going to choose this line and it makes it correctly. So now I have an axle to spin it around and a plane to do the mirror. So let's do a loft. Now a surface loft, of course, from the plane to midpoint. Thank you. We're going to do circular pattern again, as you seen earlier. We're going to choose and make sure it's bodies, that body, the axle. Now I choose the axle I did from the vertex to the midpoint five times. And as you can see, I'm, as just an earlier version, I'm missing one part. So I will do, move the sketches, a mirror. We will mirror the first body across the plane I made. 
we'll go and construction move here we have it and now we're gonna make we can stitch it together and we have that one object a stitch together and if we do an inspection from measuring from this was from surface to surface so from this surface to that one is 100.063 millimeters so yeah yeah good enough for me not perfect in any way and as you can see this is not a solid this is just the outside so you can use it for all kinds of things that was the surface version so now it's time for the third version this is going to be a framed i can say you don't know outside frame this is the t5 care challenge number two triangles of doom and i'm going to do this a bit almost like the surface but a bit different five sides get it locked in make sure it's vertical dimension was a bit specific it was 40 millimeters from between those two points so I will do the same geometry as I've started with earlier line through the midpoint make sure these two lines are equal line midpoint and down finish sketch and now we're going to do a second sketch on this plane we're going to do projection again of the points we need this one this this is and this so and we're going to do a circle it's going to be a construction circle again from here yeah that's it so let's forget what I'm doing line from midpoint up here make sure it's a vertical to do a circle again so we get the height of the triangles I'm gonna do a line from here to here make sure it's vertical again now we need the midpoint of everything pull it out constrain it and this is the axle we're going to spin on. We're going to, going to spin this around two axles. We're going to use this axle and then we're going to use the center axle for everything. And we also need the circle, which can be two millimeters. This is going to be a frame. So now we have all the sketches we need. We are going to do a sweep, a solid sweep. We're going to choose the profile and we're going to do it all the way around this now if you do start to spin this around these ugly edges which poke out in the air so it's also part of a drawing of the challenge we're going to take the corners here two three four and five one millimeter that's um, a radius of the the sweep around if we all know what we're doing let's go back now we have our profile so let's do circular pattern number one the choose bodies so we're going to choose that body we're going to choose the little axle we're drawing from midpoint to vertex we do it five times and we're going to do a second circular pattern we're going to choose all the bottom parts and the axle is going to be the center axle on the top five times this produces a lot of bodies but that's no problem let's do a combine like that now we have that and you want to check so now we have made a frame like I said you want to play around with this and uh, just to check where our properties I think they are quite correct where they're supposed to be so I haven't changed it to yes, it's ABS plastic so that was everything for me have a good time see you around